Good afternoon. My name is Ray Mavis. I'm Secretary of the Navy. Uh, with me um, is um, Admiral John Greenert, the Chief of Naval Operations, and Assistant Secretary of the Navy, uh, Sean Stackley, uh, NAVC, Naval Sea Systems Command, uh, where this attack took place, reports through uh, both Admiral Greenert and Secretary Stackley. Um, the Navy family today suffered a horrific attack, and we are a family. Uh, the civilians that work in Navy um, and do the critical work that that has to be done uh, suffered um, just a stunning and horrific blow today. Um, I have been here at the hospital about uh, seeing about the three victims who were brought in here. Uh, two of those were Navy uh, employees, uh, the third a Metropolitan Police Officer, and when I'm finished, Dr. Orlowski uh, will uh, give you a detailed medical briefing. I got to meet, uh, we got to meet uh, one of the victims, a young woman and her family. Uh, she is, under the circumstances, doing very well. I also got to talk to the husband of the second victim, who is in surgery right now. Uh, but uh, none of the injuries are expected to be life-threatening. Uh, I want to thank two groups, very specifically the first responders who got there so quickly from all sorts of different agencies, all sorts of military organizations, federal, local uh, organizations from this area. And second is to thank the team here at the hospital. Um, the victims have been receiving absolutely excellent care, and uh, they were brought to a great place. We uh, immediately, upon hearing about the shooting, put in motion uh, contingency plans uh, for a situation like this, including things like uh, uh, just getting people out of the Navy Yard, uh, getting people home tonight because most of them will not have access to their vehicles, uh, figuring out about their personal belongings because it is a crime scene. Two, uh, I've made every victim a Secretary of the Navy designee so that if they need any additional or specialized care that they can go to Walter E. Bethesda. I'm absolutely confident that they won't need it because of the excellent care here, but just in case we have some uh, specialized care that is not available anywhere else uh, that can go as, as my designee. Uh, third is to arrange for counseling, uh, grief counselors available now, uh, and counseling as, as we go forward to make sure that, um, that the trauma associated with this will be dealt with appropriately. And finally, uh, if you have a loved one that was at the Navy Yard, there are two phone numbers uh, that you can call for Navy, 202-433-6151 or 202-433-9713. Now, when you call, uh, we will not be able to give you a, um, a status report. We'll have to check and call back. Uh, we're, we have taken a muster, as you do in these situations, but because people are scattered, because they're scattered, one, from the event, but two, uh, just in normal day-to-day -day business, there are some that are scattered. It normally takes between 24 and 36 hours to, to make a complete muster and to find out the status of everyone. So again, to the doctors, to all the medical and personnel to all our first responders. Thank you so much.